Okay guys, so it's 2007. You're at home, you're watching a TV network called A&E, and bam, you see a TV show about a magician who is doing a bunch of these crazy stunts and also tricking a lot of innocent global viewers for a lot of money. What's up everybody, I'm Amarx, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I decided to go back to my roots to 2018 Amarx and watch a TV show called Chris Angel Mind Freak. And this show actually had a big impact on me in my childhood. Now, this guy was like a huge idol to me. I mean, shit, even when I was 12 years old, I actually got his magic kit and I loved every minute of it. And what made this eight times more hilarious is that my parents actually fell for this show and they're like way older than I am when I watched this. And I don't know how, but they completely were super gullible and I, I don't know how the hell anyone could fall for this now looking back. Okay, no more rambling, let's watch. Are you really? Some days. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever met before, honestly? Well, yeah, never. All right, cool. I've seen you on TV, but I've never met you in person. All right, do I look the same? Awesome. Yep. Wait, so this guy claims he's seen his idol, Chris Angel, the most infamous magician on his show, but yet he's going to act super neutral about it, like it's not that big of a deal. Like, holy fuck, like, you figured with such a big fan of Chris Angel that you'd be like going, oh my god, I love you, like fangirl some shit, or get a little excited as a dude, but I guess, <laughs> I guess that was a show that they have no enthusiasm. <laughs> this dude kind of acts like he just wants to go outside and freaking watch NASCAR or some shit. Okay, so let me get this straight. Chris Angel wants to walk through a metal gate in front of a bunch of people, but he's gonna cover it up. Huh? That's about as equivalent as going to the dentist and doing dental surgery, but they do it duct tape, which makes no fucking sense if you ask me. I examined the fence, it was cast iron. Nobody can get through that. It was unbelievable. It's all metal, it's all real, it's just crazy. As soon as I get home, I'm gonna tell my mom that Chris Angel just passed his whole body through a solid door. It's gonna be, she's, she's not gonna believe it. Magic is not real to me, but seeing that up close and personal was amazing. Hey lads, I, I kind of know the secret. Uh, I think his magic tricks consist of Sony Vegas of 2006. Now, as a kid, his magic tricks and everything kind of blew my mind because I was a gullible, dumb piece of shit. But I also know that magic is definitely not real. It's a bunch of illusions, but come on, dude. This is straight up editing and like having a fake reaction crowd saying like, yay, he went through it. Like, bro, you walked through a fucking gate. Like, come on, you should at least, you know, have some actors that go, Oh, but <laughs> bro, this is like a sitcom type shit right here. Now, if I saw someone go through the gate, man, I'd probably be just skedaddling, dude. Probably running away thinking he's some type of kryptonite type shit. Probably the Terminator or something because, <laughs> ah, that's not cool. That's terrifying. But yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Nice. After watching all of these shows for many years and clips, that I never realized how weird it was for Chris Angel to put his mouth on the camera lenses as a transition. It just seems really goofy. It must be pretty awful seeing Chris Angel and his crew to see him give oral to his own camera lenses almost every single time he does a fake trick. Now, this show is a good example of it being way worse than you remember. Not only that, that it did not age very well. But I will say his magic trick illusion tricks from the magic kit was actually pretty dope. And not only that, his season three intro was also really good too. The first two season intros are just like demos and they did not sound very good. Now, there's another trick that Chris Angel does that sounds really cool on paper, but it's really bad executed in reality. And here's what it looks like. Chris Angel, man, you ain't Jesus. <laughs> I swear, like, literally, uh, the movie Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey had better effects and he played a better Jesus than tr the mind freak himself. Now, this trick is a very infamous meme trick that Chris has shown on his live TV show from season six, right? And I actually watched this live, but oh my God, <laughs> it's so bad. Now, this magic trick was so bad and so cringy that a es YouTube channel actually took their time to remove this video and you can no longer find it on YouTube. YouTube. But thankfully, I found it on another video sharing platform and I was able to record a bit of this stunt and yes, yeah, we get to watch the cringe together. 
To prove that I'm not using any camera tricks whatsoever to accomplish this, we're going to show you a continuous shot of the helicopter hovering over the ramp of the empty cage. That shot will... Okay guys, I am going to get a continuous shot, but also not mention the continuous edits that's going to go on through the trick as well. One. Now, what makes this trick really funny and memeable is that they went all their time out of this back in 2010, 2009 era, filming this crap, and they rented a helicopter, doing all this crazy stuff, renting a nice car and everything in a freaking cage on top of the helicopter on the bottom. I mean, I'm sorry. And all of it just a fake, fake a trick through basic video editing that even a blind bat could probably tell it's fake. So before I go, there's one more Chris Angel trick I want to react and it's the body ripped in half magic trick. Now, as a kid, I thought it was real, but now it's just fucking hilarious. Pull, pull, pull. <laughs> Now, I know it's all fake with Chris Angel's trick here and all, but like imagine if he were to actually do the rip the body challenge and it actually does rip the body and Chris Angel would be like, stop the camera, stop the camera, like just severe fucking backfires because, <laughs> because he stole the show, whatever, because it was real. Yeah, uh, actually did, apparently did happen a few times, but oh well. Relax. Over here. Okay. What the? F you have my f legs. What, ah! what the f did you do? Ah! You have to fix that. Get the, f Get the f back over here. Now, when they switch the legs on this trick and everything with another human being, that it kind of reminds you when they take the limbs off a Barbie doll and put it on like a male action figure or something because it just looks so goofy. Okay, everybody, that will be it for Chris Angel Mind Freak. Let me know if you like the change of pace. I want to do something a little bit different because I realized one of my other videos, even though they're very informational with morbid curiosity and internet finds, which I do enjoy making time to time still, that I noticed they lost a lot of funny like bits of my personality, my videos I used to do back in the day. So I thought maybe I'd go back to that a little bit and be a little bit more of my goofy self. And Chris Angel, like I said, was really big factor in my childhood. And I found it very interesting that people are still talking about them. Let me guys know if you liked the video by of course leaving a like and if you really enjoyed it make sure to comment and also subscribe because we got some more videos smaking content coming. Probably some more different types of content with reaction commentary again a little bit and probably more more curiosity. I haven't been able to find a whole lot of this like internet findings and stuff too so I don't want to leave you guys hanging you know what I mean? So yeah. Now, I'll see you guys later so toodles everybody.